What's up guys? Today we are watching the season 2 finale of Breaking Bad. So last episode was a little hectic. Like, what's it called? Jane's dad figured out that she started up on drugs again. But she basically told him that she was going to go back to rehab just to like get him off her back because her and Jesse really just planned to get his money from Walt and Diddy Bop out of there. But now we like they don't even have to worry about that because what happened? Walt goes to visit Jesse or whatever, and you know what? Jane dies. Walt let Jane die. I'm surprised, but also not surprised. But I just want to know what happens whenever Jesse wakes up and sees her, or is like Walter gonna move her before he even wakes up? I don't know, but I want to figure that out. So I guess. Let's get into the episode. Are we ever gonna get to know what happened? Cause you've been teasing this shit since like way before. Did we not already see this happen? I remember seeing the two bodies. Okay, now this part is added on. That's present time now? We just started the episode! I knew something like this was gonna happen. I just felt bad that Walt left her like that. Is he ever gonna find out that, like, Walt left her like that? Like, I feel like he won't, because, like, why would Walt tell him that? But... No, no, listen, calm down. Just... Sit tight. I know who to call. Are you gonna call Saul? What can Saul do? But it might not even be him, I was just guessing. But like, it's so weird that Jesse calls him, like, for this, even though he let it happen. Saul Goodman sent me. So he did call Saul. Knew it. Is he wiping any evidence of Jesse being there? It's like, if you do that, can't you like make a crime scene or whatever like too clean? Like, plus that's his place. Say it please. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. <laughs> God damn, he's in shock still. You gotta give him fucking time. You're in the home stretch. I hate that this is another thing he has to go through. Like, he seemed to have a person, and then now he don't. Like, he just had someone there for him. And now she's gone. Look, look right there. Look, look at that. Are those donations? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, they're planned from the thing, so... 
20, 26 people. Virginia, Minnesota, Montana. Look at this one. Vancouver, all, all the way up in Canada. Oh, wait, they didn't put the money like that yet. So... Oh, I still feel bad because Walt's like, he don't want it. Walt, don't you think a little thank you is in order? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, son. Thank you. This is a big, big help. <laughs> 20, 20 more books from Thunder Bay, on Ontario. Uh -huh. It's, damn. <laughs> Well, is it their plan, or is it just going in slowly so it doesn't look suspicious? Your phone. I'm on my way. I'm going to be there momentarily. I expect you on the porch, bag packed, ready to go. No excuses. He's going to pull up and there's going to be cops outside. Or is he going to get there before the cops? Oh no, and the Jesse's going to be there. Mmm. That's traumatic for the dad to see that. You may not want to be here for this. I mean, it's like we usually barely even see this part in shows. Like, they're usually already in the bag, but like... I feel so bad. Your daughter's date of birth. April, um, April 4th, 1982. I was waiting for a dude to straight up go up, go off on Jesse. Like, again, that's still surprising because I was ready for something to happen between them two, but I guess he's still in shock that that's kind of happened. Biggest donation gets a six pack of my very own Schrader Brow. Home brewed, silky perfection. Smallest donation gets two six packs. <laughs> <laughs> James Edward Kill Kelly, yeah. APD thinks this is our mastermind. You believe that? I got a bridge to sell you, okay? Hey, he cop. So he still doesn't believe that that's Heisenberg. So their plan didn't really work, but they threw him off like way more, I guess. Nevada, Nevada. In fact, everywhere but here. Almost as if somebody wised up, stopped shitting where they eat. So them not selling it anywhere in that in their state means that they could be selling it from there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna be next? The guy found him? It's so weird that they're doing that like right in front of Walt, and I know he feels like ass about it. I Saul, just shut Saul! Saul, shut up and give me the address. Damn, so now he's talking to Saul like that. How about you go on home, Walter? Let me handle this. I ain't gonna lie, whenever I first saw that other dude, I thought that was Walter. And then I took a closer look and I'm like, oh, he looks a little shorter than Walt. So maybe not. They all look like zombies. Why is the gauge thing so big? Imagine taking that shit out and look how like floppy your ear is gonna be. I didn't know Jesse went over there. Come on, you're gonna stand up, and we're gonna we're gonna walk out of here, okay? We're gonna take you someplace nice and safe. That's it. That's it. Now let's go. 
Now I'm thinking, where are they going to take him? <laughs> Look at Walt being comforting. Even though he did it. But still, it's progress with how he usually treats Jesse, so... I killed her and it was me. I no. got her back up. No, Jesse, look at me. You can't let him believe that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that kind of looked like a little bit of regret on Walt's face. So is he kind of regretting it now? Time you saw her ever wearing a yellow dress. What about blue? Blue's better than black, right? Oh no, don't tell me he's picking out clothes to put her in for the funeral. Turn down the volume. Th that, it, it's money. Just please do it. The noise is disturbing the baby. Oh my God, you are kidding me. Sure, of course, any day after school. Oh God, what's happening with that? Patience works at the journal and when she told him about the website and all the donations, he went to his editor and they're gonna do a story about you. For real? Yep, they're coming to interview you with a- That's dope as fuck, okay. It's a pleasure, good to meet you. Uh -huh. And Gustavo Fring of Los Pollos Hermanos. Please, just Gus. Hi, Gus. Gotta tell you, you guys make some killer chicken. So now he's gonna be around another dealer and not, and he's not gonna know. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, that's, that's my brother-in-law. Yeah, he's got a health issue we're, we're trying to. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. What, what sort of health issue? Oh, wait, so he he's gonna know that and know that he knows Walt. Or does he know that's Walt's real name? I think he does. But maybe he's gonna pull out after knowing that Hank is his brother. Or maybe he doesn't since he didn't even see the picture. I don't know. But if not, Saul will take care of things. He's got your money. He's keeping it for you. And this seems like a kind of rehab in a way, but also just a spa. Like, what is it? What you meant. I deserve whatever happens. See, this is trippy because it's like, he doesn't tell him he's gonna feel like that. He does tell him Jesse's gonna hate him, as he should. And it's like, he would probably pull out and not want to work with him anymore, which would make problems for him. Mmm. Marie, I, I thought we were just talking about a newspaper story. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But I thought, you know, if it's good enough for the journal, then why not TV? So... They're really putting this man on TV. How much money have you raised so far? Six six thousand three hundred and sixty dollars, <laughs> but there's more coming in all the time. Wow. So they reach six K. He's patient with you. He's always there for you. He's he's just decent. And that looks like a guilty face. And I'm sorry, Walter, but you have to switch up because you look kind of miserable and that would be bad. Well, here we are. Yeah. I wonder, I feel like something's gonna happen while he's out. Like, but what could happen? You know, I feel like I can't even guess what I think is gonna happen. So, I'm gonna have to just play it out and maybe nothing will happen. Where's your phone? Hmm? Your cell phone, did you bring it? 
Which one? Oh my god. He he just admitted. Maybe she could think that that's like a switch up. Like he didn't mean it like that. But with everything that's already happened. So maybe she's going to start looking for that phone now. I don't know. Let me get to meet her. No, I was actually thinking of bringing her today, but she's um 7 weeks tomorrow. So Seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, I have a. Uh... Why does Walt look so different right here? Oh my God. Well, basically, shortness of breath. A bit, but much better. Good. Well, your margins look good. Why does Skyler look so standoffish? Does she figure something out? Well, no, that's good news for you, honey. Huh? One less baby in the house. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Like, what happened in these seven weeks? You been doing okay? I'm doing okay. After a certain point, time off doesn't help. So, I figured I'd rather be here. Focus on work. Sure. Absolutely. Hmm? Doesn't look so bad, right? What are you doing? I'm going to Hank and Marie's for the weekend. Dang, so sudden. I want you to pack your things and leave. Why would I do that? Hank is offered to help, since you shouldn't be doing any heavy lifting. Skylar. She's kicking him out. You're a liar, Walt. Two cell phones, after all. Did she find it? Right before your surgery, I asked if you had packed your cell phone, and you said, which one? So she clung to that. World was flat. You know what I think? I think you accidentally told the truth. Honey. We have been over this. I mean, you're not wrong, but like, still. Being an affair, is that what you think? That's what I was thinking, yeah, for the last few weeks. With whom? Who am I having an affair with? Well, my guess was Gretchen Schwartz. My God. Gretchen and Elliot didn't give you a dime. They paid for nothing. You refused every offer. That so now she knows that they didn't get, he didn't take the money from them. Over a hundred thousand dollars. Out of where? Out of thin air. So what, what are you going to say, Walt? What's your excuse for this one? How are you going to tell her that you got that money? It, it turns out that not only is the money not from your mother, she didn't even know that you have cancer. Which means he also didn't go visit her. If I tell you the truth, will you stay? I guess it depends on what the truth is. But it's like, are you actually? Whatever it is. I mean, she should be afraid because if he hasn't told her the truth about it in the first place, then it's like, why? Because she knows he's not having an affair, so it's something else, and he's getting money from it, so. Regard. Aircraft calling, say again. Lifeguard 46. Clear, direct Albuquerque, climb and maintain 17,000. What is about to happen? Are 
plane's about to crash or something because of that dude. So this is gonna lead into why there's the thingy in the pool. So there was a plane crash, but there were two dead bodies. Is it not dead bodies that we know? Head inside, Walter. You see something fall into your pool. You see shit falling from the sky. And you're gonna look at it and do, like, just sit there? No. Get some protection over your head. So that's all we get to see. We don't even get to know. So we, we know now what, like, where the thing came from. But we don't know who died because there was two bodies in the yard. Maybe that's just how they're going to start off season three. But like, I'm, I'm still mad that that's like part of the cliffhanger. I wanted to know who the body is. Is it going to be a family member? Because Skylar and Walter Jr. went to Hank and them's place. So it's like, who else could it be? The only other people there or person there is Walter. Walter doesn't die because there's other seasons. Who is it? Unless someone came back. Or it's just people he don't know. I don't know. But like... So all that happened because of Jane's dad. And like the mental state he's in. And you know what? I wouldn't have thought that that was because of him. He's not, like, that major of a character. I thought it was going to be a major character type of thing, but it's not. It was because of that. I couldn't have guessed that. People were writing my comments. People tell me that I can't guess shit because random stuff happens. I couldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have. Like, yeah, he's still mourning and stuff, but I didn't think he was going to get that shit, like, that kind of thing to happen. But... Oh well. I just, I just feel so bad. And you know what? It's been seven weeks and we still didn't even see what happened to Jesse. Walt left him in that weird shaped thing and we haven't seen him. What's, what's dude going through? We know what happened with freaking Jane. And you know what? I have felt so bad for Jesse this whole freaking episode because Walt has not told him a single thing. Because he doesn't want to lose Jesse as a partner, I feel like that's mostly it. I feel like, yeah, he cares about Jesse a little bit, but I feel like it's mostly based on the fact that he knows Jesse would probably dip out on their partnership. Because, yeah, it was a fucked up thing to do. And again, Walt was, like, covering his own ass because Jane could have used, like, his stuff against him. So, you see why he let her die, but Jesse is still going to get all mad about it as he should because he did care about her and maybe she wasn't that good for him but I mean maybe he would have found that out in time you know but now he's never gonna get to know because she's dead because of Walt and seeing her dad just walk through there and like see her body and see them placing her in the body bag that is traumatic Maybe he did need more time off from work. But again, time off means you're alone with your feelings. And then I guess it doesn't really help. He wanted something else to focus on. But then the thing is, he goes back and he focuses on something. But not really, because look what happened. Crash. But I swear, it's like this episode was a whole trip. What is in my eye? It was a trip because we saw different freaking sides. Oh, uh, what's it called? What's his name? The new dude that Jesse and Walt do work for. He met Hank and I was so ready for him to find out that that was Walt's brother or brother-in-law. 
I forgot which one, but that they're related in a way. And like him knowing that, I feel like that would make him back off. But he doesn't. He didn't see Walt's picture, which is surprising, but at least he was nice enough to still donate. But again, Walt was kind of pissing me off this this episode with like his whole reaction to uh like getting the money. Like every time he heard like the dinging and everything, like I understand that that's not what you want. But again, you can't tell your family how you have money. You have to make it look like you're not miserable and not grateful that they're trying to help you. And that's like the opposite of what man did. He looked miserable the whole time. He kind of looked ungrateful. And I just felt bad for Walter Jr. mostly because he made that website for him. And he just, like Walter didn't seem grateful, like maybe a little bit, but like barely. Cause after that one time of like Skylar getting him to say thank you, he basically looked miserable the whole time. And the way he acted whenever he kept hearing the dinging, he's like, can you turn that shit down? I saw the look on Walter Jr.'s face and I was like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, why is he gotta act like that? Mm, I'm, he pisses me off, but that's him. Well, going into season three, I feel like we're gonna have to figure out who the dead bodies are. I feel like they're not gonna not tell us. Like, that'd be some bullshit if they didn't. Or maybe it is just random people and they just have no reason to tell us. I don't know. But I just want to know who it is. And hopefully they actually freaking tell us. But I don't even know what to expect in season three. I don't know what to predict. My only prediction is they're gonna show us who the bodies are. Like. I don't know who it's gonna be. Again, maybe it's random people, maybe it's people we know, but I wouldn't I wouldn't know who to guess for that, you know? But oh well. I'm ready to get into season three because this kind of felt like a slow episode up until the last like few minutes. But yeah. Um <laughs> We're ready to see what's gonna happen with this shit, so I guess come back for season three. 